My family and two other families <laughs> took a trip to Lanesboro, Minnesota during the summertime for a little family vacation, friend vacation. Um, today's event <laughs> was going kayaking down the Root River. Um, there was about 12 of us on the kayak trip that day, and it was going to last about five hours. Um, we, my brother was the unlucky one. His kayak happened to have a hole in it, and so it would fill up with water very quickly and go underwater a lot and sink. So about every like 15 to 20 minutes, half hour, we would have to stop and empty his kayak because it'd be completely underwater. Um, so the river isn't like that. Um, calm, it's not like too many rapids, but. It's like here and there, but it's mostly calmed down the whole river. So it was, wasn't was really that big of a deal that all day. Um, but it was all of ours like first time kayaking. So we were like kind of new to everything, but still it's not that hard to learn. So we caught on pretty quick. But me, my brother and our family friend, Tracy, she, we were in front of the group by a lot, like probably like five minutes ahead of everyone. And it was time for t us to get off at the landing spot. Um, and at the landing spot, uh, there's like a land piece in between. And the landing is on this side. And there's another way you can go, but you would like probably you'd miss the landing. Um, so at this time, my brother was obviously pretty confident. So he tried going the other way. And at the end, there was rapids, like the biggest rapids of the day were right at the landing spot. So. He tried going that way, but me and Tracy took the smart way, and he got in the rapids and missed the landing. While we were still going, so we couldn't really help him at the moment because we were still going to the landing spot. Um, but his kayak filled up with water, and he was now far past the landing, underwater, in the rapids with his kayak fully underwater. The life jacket that um, is in the kayak, because you don't have to wear it, it just has to be in it. That was already down the river, his oar was down the river, and a cooler that we had was all gone. And we were still in our kayaks. But by the time we got off, my uh, my brother tried to, he like yelled at me to grab his kayak, but like he was already gone and I couldn't do it. Um, so he just kept on going, and he like was like screaming bloody murder for me to come save him. Because <laughs> he like thought he was going to die. Because he was like going underwater a lot of times. And um, Tracy grabbed my brother's arm and was like, uh, he, she grabbed my arm, and she's like, because I was sprinting in the water to go get him, and she's like, I'm not losing both of you today. So at that moment, I thought my brother was going to die, and I started crying hysterically, and I was really, really scared, and um, yeah, she was, I, I really thought my brother was going to die, and was really sad, I was like crying a lot, and then my parents and family got back and by that time my brother was able to get to the side and grab get out um so he got out but that's when I kind of realized like you know a lot of people say like oh my god I hate my brother but when you like hate my siblings but when you get into that kind of like moment you realize how much you love someone so my speech is on how you know you love someone the first reason is you want to spend time with this person you um like hanging out with them you like being with them and you um miss them when they are gone and this isn't just the love of like a boyfriend or girlfriend it's like family friends and everything okay <laughs> so yeah if you miss someone when they're gone or you want to spend time with them that's one sign that you love them um, the second one is that you cheer for their um, achievements you don't get mad or jealous that they did something you can't but you're proud of them and you celebrate with them um, the second reason is you want people the third one is that you want people to like them. You don't like people talking bad about them, and you don't want people to um, kind of like hate them. You want everyone to like this person. You want everyone to have him out them, have a good reputation and everything. Even you want your family especially to like this person. Um, and yeah, so that is how you know you love someone.